what's up YouTube fam? We're out here again triple tailing today. Gonna be throwing uh, shrimp just on light leader with a bear hook. Had some floating triple tails. Got my wife Elizabeth with us. And my mother-in-law, Gigi Ginger. And we're gonna catch these girls some fish for dinner. All right, yeah. come, come for a ride and uh, let's catch some fish. Keeper, but another one. All right. Nice fish. Yeah. Keep. All right. So cast from your left to the right. That way you cast into the wind instead of trying to cast with it. I'm. That might work. Pull to the left. Pull to the left. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. I think you got him. Real. Good job. Yes. Triple tail. Woohoo! Woo that, one's, that one's really silvery. Yeah. All right. All right. GG. All right, guys, we're back at the dock here. Got a couple keeper triple tails for dinner here. I'm going to go get them filleted up. Liz got to catch uh, one casting herself. Great job, Woo! babe. GG got to reel on a couple, brought them in. I netted one. You netted yeah. one. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get them cleaned up here. Maybe have some for dinner. All right, guys, we're gonna clean these triple tail up. Again, these fish are uh, a little tougher to clean. They got very tough, hard scales, very spiny, very sharp gill plates. So you always wanna be real careful. Have a real sharp knife to do it because a dull knife is much more dangerous than a sharp one when you're trying to clean fish. So I go pretty simple, try to kind of get under a scale there. Just to get you started. And then kind of right up behind the gills there. Up around the back of the head. You have to be very careful with this part here. You don't want to hold that too hard with your thumb because again that gill plate is very sharp. Now you got somewhere to get the knife in there and started. And kind of go right 
down that backbone like that. Now you kind of peel it up and you kind of just work your knife down along that backbone. We got it pretty good there. And so now in here you got these ribs which are very hard to cut through, especially when you're using a smaller knife like that. So a lot of times I try to kind of cut around them. And you have to be a little careful doing it, but you can get the knife started there. And like that. Cut right around those ribs. You can see the ribs right there and you see we just kind of took the knife and went right over top of them. And you're not really going to lose too much meat in there so just go right over them. And now we're pretty much over them so now we're going to go right down that back part there all the way to the tail and cut through. There we go. Missed a little bit back there, but not too much. Now it's real easy. Just go right down the skin. And you got no bones here to worry about. And there we go. Nice, big, beautiful filet of triple tail. Always like to uh, cut these blood lines out and down that center line where a few bones tend to be. And uh, get rid of that. And there we go. Nice piece of triple tail. We got a little ice brine here, salt water and ice. Always good to let your uh, fish soak in that after you catch them. Um, cools them down, firms up the meat, and then to put the fillets in there too. And let them sit in there, you know, for 20, 30 minutes after you clean them. Um, it'll make the fillet a lot nicer and firmer when you go to cook it. And that's it. Do the other side here. It's always easier to clean one side of a fish versus the other depending on how you hold them but this side I kind of just go in there and cut to get that first cut started and then same thing get right down in there and go right down that back and then just kind of Cut up there to get it right off the backbone. And again, we're going to go right up the ribs there. There we go. go no ribs to worry about there all 
All right, and same thing, we'll cut the little center line out here. All right, another nice piece of triple tail. Down the hole. All right, guys, we're here in the kitchen. We got things ready to roll here. We're gonna cook up that triple tail with my wife, Elizabeth. We're gonna just kind of be uh, flash frying it in the pan here. Just a uh, simple egg wash with uh, some breading and then right in the pan. We got a nice new induction cooktop. We've had an induction cooktop for a while, but ours just went out, so we got a new one. But uh, just a pan of oil here, breadcrumbs here, egg wash here. This is just simple four eggs, some milk, and some lemon juice. And of course, our fresh triple tails filet right here. All right, let's get to it here. All right. So we dip it in that egg wash, get it nice and wet coated really good and then right in those breadcrumbs same thing get a nice thick coat on there try to cover it up best you can and then we like to get this pan real hot you see I got this thing set all the way up to eight with our oil and yeah you want it sizzling when it first hits the pan there and unlike steak or chicken having a little bit more oil in there is uh, gonna just help the cooking process and that flash frying of the fish make it happen faster. All right, it's been a couple minutes, so we're gonna flip her over. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. And, and now just a couple more minutes on this side. Fish is, uh, you know, very easy to cook, so it's not like you have to let it sit there for a long time like a steak or something. That's tough to get the, the center how you want it. And of course, you want it white all the way through. And again, this is just an easier way to do this. If you don't have a deep fryer at home, you can just throw it in the pan with some oil like we're doing right here. And that's the lovely thing about triple tail. You get such a nice big fillet off of them. I mean, one fish, legal size, 18 inches, easily feeds two people. All right, she's looking good there. All right. All right, voila. Nice, fresh fried triple tail. All right, we'll be at the table here in a minute. All right, so it's all finished. We got our fried fish, little rice, little side salad. All right, Gigi, how's those fish gonna taste? Cheers, it's gonna be yummy. I already sneaked a tiny bite, it's delicious. All right, sounds good. Gigi caught her triple tail and we're gonna enjoy it here now. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you next time.